Let's jump into topic number two. This comes from Box Office Fan. Love and marriage. <laughs> yes. Fox is bringing back its classic Married with Children, complete with the original cast, as a cartoon. The first thing to ask is, can the Married with Children comedy work today? Some of its jokes won't fly today. Can this show work today? All right, thanks so much for that box office fan. And yes, this was a staple in the 1990s. Good old Al Bundy sitting on the couch, hand down his pants, kicking it with Katie Seagal. Oh my gosh, Christina Applegate was on this show and I just wanted to be her. She was the coolest girl, even though, you know, bit of a burnout. I just yeah. thought she was so rad. I loved this and this was originally on Fox, of course. Oh my God, I remember the intro too. It had Peg Bundy smoking a cigarette yes. while cooking. There's a lot of, now that that uh, viewer brought it up, there's a lot that I could think about where I'm like, they can't do that. Yeah. Or they would have to change it into something modern, like the, if they could, if it's possible. Um. At first, when we were talking about it while the ad was playing, um, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm so ready for this. But now that I actually, that viewer brought up that point, I'm like, I'm not sure if this is going to work without that that uh, crude humor that it had mm -hmm. when it was on. I mean, how, I mean, I guess they could go family guy-ish, but we already got a family guy. Yeah. Why would the... My kind of hope here is, I think that's why we're doing animation is because you can kind of push some boundaries a bit more than doing a live action. And it's a little easier, in my opinion, to do satirical things or, uh, you know, commentary on things through the lens of animation because it's already taking itself a little less seriously, mm. right? If you think about the jokes that so shows like Harley Quinn can get away with, which are ridiculous and wildly inappropriate, <laughs> I think that this show could really, really get away with it. The question for me though is, Ray, do you think there's an audience for this? Is this just banking on nostalgia for folks who grew up watching the show late 80s, early 90s? How are you feeling? Is, is this something that we know for sure they're trying to shop for the national TV, like, uh, like you know, or is it gonna be a streaming thing? If it's gonna be a streaming thing, you'll have, you'll have you know, the, the people who loved the show before watching it i'm not sure if it's going to reach any further than that because there's so many choices like i was on the animation section of john's netflix the other day <laughs> and um there's so many things that there, there's like um even on apple tv like oh, yeah. things that look like family guy and have like a different there there's bob's burgers i know was on last night and then there's like the great north i think with uh the guy from uh parks and rec ron swanson with, uh, nick offerman nick, yes. nick offerman he's in that so it's it's it, it's in a tough competitive field when it comes to like uh that stuff i, I think. think so and i believe it's sony pictures who's doing this one uh we've got some information from deadline on this actually um so another classic 90s comedy is making a comeback an animated revival of married with children headlined by the original series stars like we talked about katie seagal ed o'neill of course from modern family for our younger viewers christina applegate and david fustino it's being pitched to networks and streamers and is getting strong interests sources tell deadline the new take on the 1987 Fox sitcom is written by Family Guy executive producer Alex Carter, who serves as a showrunner. Sony Pictures Television, which owns and distributes the original series, has been working on the animated project for over a year and closed deals with the quartet of Married with Children stars before taking it out. Fox, Hulu, and Peacock are considered logical destinations. So really, really great instinct with the Family Guy comparison here, Ray, right. of having that showrunner really taking the helms of this. Oh, now it's going to be on streaming. It would, I really want this to work because I, I used to watch, or I know Anne, she used to watch Married with Children like every day. Mm -hmm. And then I would just, just sit there and watch with her. She was a bigger fan than me, but I, I like the show. I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I want them to stick with what worked for the old, like, don't try to change it too much or else you might as well call it something else. Just like people are saying about the Halo show, you might as call might as well call it something else. But you know, if it's enjoyable, I, I I'll watch it. But I, I I don't know. I think there's a lot of stuff competing with it Absolutely. that that will take my attention. And I don't pay for streaming service. No, John does. Uh, yeah, John does. <laughs> so whatever John wants to watch, I'll be watching. If he watches this, then we'll watch this. Oh, that's great. That's the way it works. Jonathan, did you watch this show growing up? Uh, I did sporadically mm -hmm. i wasn't exactly encouraged to watch it by my parents same um like many people i was in wonderment that a shoe salesman could own a two-story home and, <laughs> and they all seem to be like 
fairly well dressed. I mean, you know, I, I I feel like okay, it touches on two points. So like oh the opening scene, well Peggy's like smoking and making food or whatever. Well, that was even shocking in the late eighties and early nineties well, when it ran. So I don't feel like you have to change that because they're doing it in a sense of like, well, this is this is uh this is kind of spoofing, right? This is these people have issues, clearly. And then to your point, now you put it in the realm of animation. I mean, come on, South Park and Family yeah. Guy get away with murder, practically. I I, I I I would have thought this thing doesn't have a chance until I discovered that it's the original cast coming back. That brings in a lot more interest. You are going to have people jumping in for nostalgia's sake, but hey, what I I say whatever opens the door, it doesn't matter. It's up to you to stay in. So if they have good writing, it's entertaining and people are tuning in, who cares if it, it launched on nostalgia? Right. And I think Hulu is probably its best bet for exposure. I think so. Uh I feel like I might be wrong, but I feel like Peacock is where all shows go to die. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> if, they, so well if they can land on Hulu, that's going to be great. But, but, but every streaming service needs to have its, oh, that's what got them, you know, the attention. Mm -hmm. This might, but probably not. Oh, I have, I have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. Do you think it should stay in the 90s? Like they should write it like they're in the 90s? Or should it be that comedy but now, like in the modern era. So you're Ooh. saying like almost like Spider-Man 97 or in Spider-Man, X-Men 97, saying, where it just is a continuation. Yeah, I don't know, do they keep it back there or do they do it like the time right now, but with that same sort of humor? You know, that I think, actually what sounds better to me. I if think I'm probably gonna... in the realm of animation, you don't even have to really like what time is is Family Guy. Like what, you know what I mean? Like right. there are That's references, so you kind of right. get it. But, you know, you might start painting yourself in a corner if you're if you're trying to stick this in the early '90s, and then all your references. Have, you're already trying to get people back, and then if you want new viewers, they may not get certain references or whatever. Like, why are why are they doing this? Why this isn't my like my world? I, there's no internet. There's landlines. There's you know, barely had pagers. <laughs> you know, it's just like, and what's a pager? I mean, I think you kind of have to do it now. I mean. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the whole thing. It's it's this family now thrown in how many thirty years later? I mean, Family Guy still yeah. gets a bunch of viewership, right? Yeah. Like from I, I don't watch the show personally, but it still has pretty good numbers. So, you know, maybe maybe yeah. some of that will come out. Maybe it'll it'll get as popular as Family Guy is. For sure. I love that. Keep it outside of time and keep it farcical, just kind of lampooning old, you know, nineteen sixties shows where it was very common to see people smoking on air. Right. And making yeah. us all go, Oh, Peg, don't do that while you're making eggs. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> but the question is, y'all, what do you think? Do you think this is a show that people want to watch? Is it banking on nostalgia? Is animation the right move? Let us know. Go downstairs and hit us with your spicy hot takes. All right? Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, when you get really busy, and you guys know that Ann and I are really busy, one of the first things that you sacrifice is eating healthy. And you know, I simply have never eaten enough vegetables in my diet, I admit it. So for a long time, I've been looking for a really good all-in-one supplement that helps me get those nutrients and vitamins that my body needs. And thank goodness, I found Athletic Greens AG1. So what is Athletic Greens AG1? Well, with one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, and probiotics to help you start your day right. And for me and Ann, it's easy. We get up in the morning, we pour a big glass of water and add one scoop of AG1. So many people today are taking some kind of multivitamin and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's cheaper than getting all those different supplements yourself. And on top of giving you all those vitamins and nutrients, it also supports better sleep and quality of recovery and supports mental clarity and alertness. Right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash mailbag. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash mailbag to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.